Hi guys, good morning, good afternoon, good evening from wherever you're catching us from. As usual, your favorite duo, we are here, and this is the Gatekeepers TV. I'm Dennis Keton. I'm Oli Edwin. And we are back, guys, with the final episodes of the Qatar 2022 FIFA World Cup. But before we start, allow us to just give you the results of the previous semi finals. Pogba, mm -hmm. before we met them, we had done some reactions about the semi-finals, but now we are here to react about the third the third and the fourth position. So it will only be wise if we show them how the semis went. So we had two games in the semi-finals. Of course, we had France. France met which team? Pogba, if you remember very, very, very well. France played against Morocco. Mm -hmm. And uh, on the other side, Argentina played against Croatia. Croatia. Mm -hmm. So I'll handle France. France with Morocco. Uh, Morocco had actually made history to reach here, but they were meeting the world champion, the defending champion. Uh, the results never went their way, though they gave a spirited fight. The match ended 2 0, courtesy of France. Theo Hernandez started to score. Then another substitute who came in and scored with his first touch scored. So the match ended 2-0 and that is how France found themselves in the finals. Then um, which team Morocco found themselves in the playoffs for the third position. Mm -hmm. Yes. On the other side, Argentina played against Croatia. Croatia they are a team that um, they concede less and but this time round they were caught they were caught offside. Uh, we saw they they let three goals get past them, and uh, for real, the goals were so quick. But anyway, the Argentinian team were the best. Uh, Croatia also tried, but when it's time, it's time. So Croatia, Argentina won that game three nil. So Croatia booked a place to play playoffs against Morocco for the third place. Good. Lionel Messi was the man of the match. He scored a goal, then uh, Alvarez scored a brace. Good. So that is how now we are graduating now to where we are right now. So today we want to tackle, of course, the playoffs for the third and the fourth position and find out who will be number three and number four accordingly. So we already know who will be number four and three, but now we just want to arrange them in order in this game. Mm -hmm. So, Saturday, 18.00 hours, we have a game, a big game. Uh, Morocco are going to be facing um, a Croatia. very tricky team, which is Croatia, who are runners up in 2018. Definitely. So, are we guys ready? Right. So, Pogba, take us through where the game will be played at. Croatia against Morocco, African team against, of course, Croatia. Uh, this game will be played at Khalifa International Stadium. The referee will be Abdul Rahman Al Jassim, all the way from Qatar. So for the first time, uh, okay, not not the first time, but a referee from Qatar will be refereeing this match of Morocco, who mm -hmm. are uh, somehow Arabs mm -hmm. against Croatia. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, crazy game this is gonna be, and uh, so far so good. We've all enjoyed FIFA 2022 World Cup. Uh, people had different thoughts, but truly speaking, Pogba, mm -hmm. it has left, it has lived to its expectation. Do you agree? Very, very, very much. Good. So, guys, let's jump straight to it. Um, as the two teams are going to meet, uh, they have had their own fair share of good results. Morocco, if I can start with them, before they met France, they had actually um, not lost. They had only conceded one goal and uh, hence it had made them to be very solitary in the defense but now having met uh, Fran France uh, that's where they we thought uh, Bono was good but uh, we were made to know that uh, you're only good until a certain time so the match ended 2-0 so now they're going to meet Croatia Croatia a team also which bowed down to pressure uh, they couldn't manage to handle Argentina. So when they meet, I don't know, Pogba, what do you think? How are you seeing the game going when these two great teams are going to meet here? Well, now that uh, we've been looking at the way games have been going between uh, the parties of Morocco and Croatia, I feel like Mor uh, Morocco, to me, they come out as the best one. Actually, they, um, pray, they played really well against France. Mm. You saw them 
pressing France, although they lost, but they pressed France. On the other side, Croatia were totally outclassed by Argentina. So Morocco didn't deserve to lose the game against France, but Croatia deserved to lose, of course. So for me, I have a feeling that uh, it's going to be the one of the one of those games actually. One of those games, yeah. yeah. Uh, what would you want Morocco to improve if you looked at how they played um, with France, and if you look also how Croatia played with Argentina? What are these things which you want the two teams to improve, if at all they are aiming at getting results tomorrow? Well, Morocco is a complete team. I've said that before. It's a complete team. It's only that uh, they conceded first, which uh, made them to which made them feel uncomfortable mm -hmm. and that gave France another opportunity to put another goal in. Mm -hmm. But they are a good team. Now that they sh they co their coach, Mr. Walid, the Gregui, should at least tell them to relax after conceding because they still tired. Mm -hmm. uh, they looked out of place, by the way, after the conceding that goal from France. On the other side, Croatia, they were totally, totally outclassed. I think they need to be calm whenever they feel like they're playing a team which is... Uh, of the highest caliber uh, against them. So they need just to relax, play their game, and uh, see the outcome. Mm. Now, when the two teams are going to meet, when you look at the odds, people fancy Croatia to have the biggest odds to win, though they're forgetting that uh, Morocco has been outstanding and have been having the best defense in this game. The two teams are going to meet with two good goalkeepers, of course. Mm -hmm. Bono and Livankovic are very impressive goalkeepers. Definitely. So the issue is, Personally, if you ask me, I would actually want to see a scenario whereby mm -hmm. this match will end into penalties so that we can actually yeah. test the prowess of both both goalkeepers because they have shown us in this FIFA World Cup that they are very good in terms of uh, in the penalties. So, straight to it, um, Pogba, mm -hmm. give us your predictions on what your expectations are. Well, if it gets down to penalties, we see we saw Mr. Bono keeping a clean sheet. On the other side, Mr. What is his name? Uh, Levankovic. Definitely, they are both good when it comes to um, penalties. No, I think maybe it will narrow to the players who will miss the penalties, which is unlikely. But on my side. Morocco are going to win this game fair and square. They will dominate everything mm -hmm. because so far they have been the best. Um, playing possessive against France, I, Morocco was, was just fantastic. On the other side, Croatia, they failed me. Actually, they failed to show their strength, their power, their attacking, uh, and they failed to show that they were really into it. So I'll go with Morocco straight away to win this game by at least. 3-1. A very convincing win for Morocco. 3-1, yeah. So guys, um, apparently football happens and things happen in football. Sometimes the things you believe or you believe uh, they will happen or not, they don't. So in this case, I know uh, most of us must be rallying against Morocco to win because of the consistency which they have had. But up to now, I feel like their morale has been dented because uh, they had different expectations which were never met. Them going to meet in this playoff, I feel like it's going to be a, a, a scenario whereby Croatia are just going to be settling for that third position. Of course, it will have been a demotion since they finished number two last World Cup, but they're going to be the number three. So for me, I'm giving it to Croatia. Uh, the Brozovic, Ivanovic, Kovacic combo to be able to carry it as number three. So for me, I'm going with a 2-1 two -one, two -one win for Croatia. And uh, they're going to be the Qatar 2022 FIFA World Cup number three in this schedule. So I think that should be it for now. So let's brace up for the finals. Uh, the finals definitely um, going to be hosted on Sunday, 2022. Uh, at 18.00 hours, mm -hmm. we were used to 2022.00 hours, but we are back at 18.00. Mm -hmm. So guys, keep it the Gatekeepers TV, Tuko Pamoja. Until next time. Mm -hmm.